Well, how about we take a little walk around this morning and I'll show you a couple things that have been going on out here. Since it's finally dry enough, I can walk around with a camera without shorting everything out. Okay, yeah, let's see what's going on. Well, friend Greg McAllister gave me seeds for a tomato. It was a stripey thing, kind of orange. Sort of looked like a Mr. Stripey. It's, it's one of the striped races. But anyway, he claimed that thing put up with just about anything. And well, it's been out here in this bucket through the rain. And I also have some on the table over here in pots. And they've been out through the rain. And ordinarily, after this kind of weather, my tomatoes will usually have black, dead, necrotic spots all over them. Uh, didn't happen. This thing is special. I'm still trying to get a name from Greg. Um, I, I don't know what to call it. The remains looking good. Um, leaves got a little hammered uh, by the rain, but not bad. Uh, they look fairly good. The remain is vertical, and so it resisted the, the pounding of the rain. Yeah, over here, pole beans starting to go up the poles. New cabbage. Yeah, I've been harvesting some cabbage, but I see I have more out here. Uh, with the rain the way it's been, I really better get some of these out of the ground. They're going to crack. Well, the onions were doing really well, uh, and then they got pounded. I mean, literally, it flattened the greens, uh, broke some of them, bent them over. I worry that they might be a little too wet. Uh, the uh, White Castle uh, <laughs> an onion, uh, it, it seems to have tolerated this a whole lot better. Uh, then the red rocket over here, it just beat the poop out of that stuff. I don't even know if they're going to manage. And the leeks are okay. Well, no signs of lace bugs so far on my new grafted avocados. We'll see. They had them pretty bad last year. I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, it knocked most of the leaves off these trees. They're coming back, though. Well, here's another one, and I see it kind of made a sparse bloom. A possibility it set a couple of avocados here. Mm, Jabuti are <laughs> hard at it again. Ripe fruit, green fruit, flowers. Well, whole stalk of Williams come over the other day. Uh, I managed to get it uh, as far as the uh, hoop house with orchids. It weighs about 50 pounds. I need a cart or a helper, one or the other, to get this down the hill. Well, the neighbor brought me by a, a popolu. This was one of Marvin's bananas. Uh, well, it's an original Hawaiian canoe banana. One of the island bananas that was brought here a uh, long, long time ago. Uh, Musa Marv down the road here, who is now passed away, sadly. Now, this was part of his collection. And one of my friends had gotten one from him before Marv passed away. Well, I got myself a peeper. It doesn't appear to have the, the bunchy, so we're in pretty good shape with it here. Can't wait. It's a pretty good banana. <sighs> well, aloha, folks. Y'all hang loose. Thanks for watching.